after more than a year in place, all COVID restrictions in the Commonwealth come to an end at midnight. It's a move gaining mixed reactions from businesses. 10 News reporter Alexis Davila is live in downtown Roanoke to find out how some are now adjusting to the change. Alexis. Well, despite the removal of these restrictions, some businesses say are still going to wear a mask. Others say they're ready to throw it in the trash. But both sides do tell me they're going to have to rely on people's honesty when it comes to the status of their vaccinations. Capacity limits and social distancing. They are phrases that are now being tossed out as restrictions will be lifted starting Friday. Jack Brown's beer and burger joint will now be able to fully open their bar and restaurant to serve more customers. The general manager, Kevin Young, says it's a relief, but at the same time, he hopes people are responsible because safety is still a concern. You know, we're excited to have everybody back in. Of course, of course, you have the thought in your mind going, I made an announcement to the staff letting them know, you know, it's like if you haven't vaccinated, do it now and you know because we're gonna be full and you know everybody's back out while the bar is going to remove this sign crystal springs grocery is keeping theirs though customers can decide whether to wear a mask or not staff will continue to wear theirs yeah, our staff's fully vaccinated but we all just feel very comfortable um, in the mask right now especially since there's a possibility of you know being around somebody who's not vaccinated. Noticing the staff's precautions, most customers who entered continued to cover their face too. Though restrictions are lifted, the state of emergency will still be in place till June 30th. Now, Governor, Nome, uh, Governor Northam, excuse me, does say that he will try to use legal action to give the option for people to wear a mask or not, even after that date. Live in Roanoke, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you.